So I wait a whole 35 minutes, Jofo, just so you can come on here? You know we're on the upperclassmen's time. How disrespectful of you. Huh? Well, let's let's start huh? it up right now. We're going to start up this interview right now. I can't make my, my buddy wait any longer here. Jofo in the ring, and yes, my name is Frank Jofo, and we have a special guest, Jefferson James, uh, Lith uh, Academy, uh, the, the winner, uh, 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 the upperclassman, Jefferson James. Say it again. The, the upper, upper, the upper classman, Jefferson James. Upper classman. One more upper time. Upper classman, Jefferson James. Here Finally. we go. What's going on, brother? Well, I'm here doing this interview with you, obviously, but before this, I was in the gym, I was stretching, and then I went and did some yoga, and I had a massage afterwards. So I'm not going to lie, Jofo, aside from dealing with you, I feel like $10,000. Well, speaking about $10,000, you were in Lute Academy, you were in the semifinal, oh, yeah. you were going against Jesse Bieber and John Gonzalez in the semifinal, triple threat match. The winner right. goes to the final of Lift Academy for $10,000. First things first, what would $10,000 do for your career, Je Jefferson? What would $10,000 do for the upperclassman Jefferson James? Well, I could buy myself really nice gear. I can save and invest more. Or I can bring it to the Nightmare Factory, which is my first intent with $10,000. Wow, you have Cody Rhodes, you have QT Marshall, and Billy Gunn as well. I'm sure there's a couple of the top notch Oh, yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. Um, to, to, towards your match, your first match, you you were the one of the one of the finalists of last year, mm -hmm. Ale Shock. He was in the match. He, on, he unfortunately got eliminated. Um, your thoughts on Kale Shock? Did he give you any advice for the uh, finals? If you when you do if you when you do make it there. KL Shock, I mean, me and him had a very good relationship after the match. And I'll give it to him. He put on one hell of a show, but unfortunately, it just wasn't his night. But as for advice, no, not really. Because the only man I'm worried about getting advice from is Jacques Rougeau, the Mountie himself. He's been helping me with my promos, my motivation and confidence to going further with his contest. Well, knowing Jacques Rougeau and his promo work, I'm sure, I'm sure it's helped you a lot. What has it all meant to you in, in your in your career going forward in Lit Academy and beyond? What Jacques meant to me was a lot. He has given me very like simplistic advice, but effective. And if there's one thing I could say about Jacques is he knows everything. I mean, he's been everywhere. He's been in one of the biggest companies in the world, if not the biggest company in WWF, which is now WWE. So to get advice from him, it's very instrumental to my wrestling career as of right now. Well, I, I can see a little, a lot of tent, a lot of uh, similarities in you and Jacques. Two great heels, um, um, a future champion in my book, that's for sure. Hopefully, in Lift Academy as well. Um, if QT that's Marshall is watching right now, off, <laughs> if QT Marshall is watching right now, do you have any words for him? He's going to be there at the finals. Do you have anything He's to say about that? At the finals, all I have to say to QT Marshall is sit back and watch. Because every time he mentioned my name, even though he mentioned it once, it's only going to make me work harder than ever to get what I want. And that is $10,000 and three months to see him in Atlanta, Georgia at the Nightmare Factory, along with Cody Rhodes and Billy Gunn. What did, uh, what did it mean for QT to, to, to name you out of those six men in the ring that night at the quarterfinals? And the final one... Jefferson James. Everything. It gave me the confidence to move forward. Just like I said in the previous question. Um, it meant that he saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself. If I'm going to be completely transparent with you. He saw something that meant a lot to me. My hard work, my consistency, whether it's in the gym, in the ring, any bookings that I take. Um... Yeah, it's just indescribable. 
for that, it's, it, it, it'll probably be a dream come true for you. I'm sure you're already waiting to be called out your name at the semifinal. Mm -hmm. But John Gonzalez was your opponent. Uh, was your was your partner, My partner in yeah. the quarterfinals. Now he's your opponent. Mm -hmm. Jesse Bieber's getting a lot of talk here in, in Quebec here as uh, already a winner already. What do you have to say about mm -hmm. that, Jeff? <laughs> well, even though Salsa was my partner and he's my opponent, sure, he does have charisma like you said in the interview with Jeremy and Jacques. But what he doesn't have is the hard work and the intelligence like me. And Jesse, sure, he's been the talk to already win this contest, all because he is a pop star? Nah, just because he has a mic in his hand and he can talk the talk, it doesn't mean that I can't walk the walk with him and Salsa. So, regardless of what people say, I'm only going to keep pushing forward into my direction and shock everybody just like the last time in the quarterfinals. Well, that's, uh, that's that's very good to hear. That's very good to hear. But uh, there's going to be a lot of pressure on everybody in the semifinal. Um, what is what is your what is your before your match? Do you have any rituals or anything before the match to get yourself psyched out for this this big event and this big match that you're going to be having August twentieth at Club Soda? That's a good question. In all honesty, Jofo, there's no like ritual per se. It's just more so keep my eyes on the prize. You know what I mean. I go in there with my head on the swivel before and after. It's just basically self-talk. Self-confidence is what I instill into myself prior to. Well, I could see that in you. You're very, very confident. Very confident enough that I could probably see you in the finals for Lift Academy in September. Is there one message you want to send to everybody else out there knowing that you're going to be in the finals of Lift Academy? One message to me, to everybody else? Hmm. Watch out, because I'm not here to play games. I'm not just happy to be here. I'm here to show everybody exactly why I belong. And if there's one thing that everybody should know by now, is that no one can outclass the upperclassmen. And you can bet on that, because $10,000 at three months at QT Marshall's Nightmare Factory will be mine. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, knowing that uh, you're uh, you're locally in Halifax right now, uh, mm. what uh, what local uh, independent uh, re wrestling federations are out there so that people in the area could come see you and witness greatness at its best? On August twelfth, we'll be pro wrestling unleashed in Halifax um, in a in a back parking lot behind the uh, initial uh, venue, which is called Propeller Arcade, and then. August 17th, which is three days before Wrestling Academy in the semifinals. I will be competing um, for Red Rock Wrestling, and for the first time ever, there will be a tournament called the Cowboy Cup. Beautiful, beautiful. It's great to hear anybody in the area go check out this man right here, the winner in my book of Lute Academy. And honestly, the confidence is oozing off you right now, and I love it. I cannot wait to see you shake your hand as the winner of Lift Academy at the end. Yeah, Jeff James, it's been a pleasure. We're on one last way. thing you want to tell everybody out there tonight. There's really nothing for me to say. I think I said it all, didn't I? Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, you know what? Like I said, I think that you're oozing confidence. You're oozing machismo. And honestly, your, your training regimen and everything is on par. And I think that QT would be an idiot not to to take you to go to the Nightmare Factory. I like the way you think, Jofo. I guess we're on the same page now. Even if you were late, I kind of like you now. <laughs> and I don't like many people. Well, you know what? I'll take that to heart. And you know what? You got a fan in me, my friend. Everybody <laughs> out there. And before before I let you go, Jeff, uh, before I uh, uh, just let him. Jefferson. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Jefferson James, the upperclassman, Jefferson James. Before we let you go, Tell everyone where they could find you on social media so they could follow your journey and uh, support you in everything you do. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. On TikTok and Instagram, it is at I am Jefferson James. You will see my name pop up as the upperclassman Jefferson James. And then on Twitter it is I am Jefferson J because Twitter is dumb to not allow me to use my full name. And then on Facebook, it is just right, right? Stupid Twitter. Unbelievable, man. And Thread is basically... If I had Elon Musk's number, I'd call him right now and let him know. This is ridiculous. But anyway, it is ridiculous. Lord, sorry to interrupt. Why can't... And I have to type in so many words each tweet. I can't speak my mind freely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are... 
Mm. Uh, but then on Facebook, if you just type in Jefferson James, you will see this stud pop up on your search. Well, there you have it, everybody. Follow his journey, support him, and all he does. The winner of Luth Academy, in my eyes, the upperclassman Jefferson James. Thank you for your time. I know it is very, very precious. Apologize for being late. I will make it up to you when I see you August 20th, and I will be cheering you at the semifinal August August. But it will be wait, 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 wait. Are you going to be announcing me at the semifinals? Of course I will. Awesome. Look forward to it. No problem, man. Everyone out there, follow his journey like I said. Follow our journey, Joe Pull in the Ring, on every single uh, social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, and on uh, YouTube as well. We're all over the place, Joe Pull in the Ring. And one last thing, don't forget, and remember, wrestling is life. So, Joe Pull, I'm a gargle a shot for Kurt hitting it, everybody, before we go. Oh, no. Joe Fo, thank you guys.